iLogic for Inventor 2011 is a powerful rule-based tool that allows us to make changes to parts, assemblies and drawings, all based on logical control. Typically we can use iLogic to uh, define geometry within Inventor, make design decisions and also link to external products like Microsoft Excel and Access databases. So let's take a look at how this works. So I'm going to use something called an eye trigger here on a simple uh, rating device. So here we're seeing a form that's been uh, developed within Microsoft Visual Basic. Typically here you can see we can enter our height and length in under sizes, uh, material we want to use, uh, the duty, light or heavy duty, um, we can configure the bottom rail, rail style, colour and so on. But you can also see that it's uh, reporting continuously on the weight of the part and if it exceeds the maximum weight it will come up and tell us. Also, you can see we can output uh, forms to CSV files, XML files, etc. And what this will do for, in this example is create um, a cutting list yeah, for manufacture. So let's see some of the logic built in. So one of the things is it's not going to let the length be three times or more than three times the height. So as an example, if I come in here and put in 90 for the length and say done, you can see Inventor comes up with, a, with an error here and it's basically telling us that it's going to revert back to its uh, default size, 72. But of course we can then start to add our own styles and, and sizes in. Some of the uh, functions will respond automatically without having to say done. So for example a, a paint change or a colour change you can see instantly happens on the screen there. And if we change the bottom rail style then what it will do is swap out a component in the assembly. And all the while it's actually uh, linking into the maximum weight here. So if we go to, uh, for some heavy duty, yeah, again you can see that start to change, weight updating and everything else. So how's all this working? Well what we'll do here is we'll run through a very simple example of how iLogix uh, can work. So what I'm going to do here is just start by uh, sketching a very simple component. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll just make a bar here that's uh, say 400 long, yeah, and 16 in the width. Okay, we'll go ahead and extrude that up as well. So we'll pick this, uh, we'll go to extrude, and I want to now uh, equally make this dimension the same. So we'll make that 16 and accept that. What I'm going to do now is start to build in some parameters. So I go into parameters here. What we're going to do is now build in some iLogic parameters. So you can see here that we can choose whether we're dealing with a text file or a numeric file. So I'll start with a numeric file here. What I'm going to do is just have something called a whole space. So there's the uh, parameter created here, and we'll go in and put uh, a parameter in. Also, what I want to do is I want to add a text-based parameter here to control the colour. So I'll call this one paint. And what I'm going to do here is make a multi-value input. So here we'll have, say, three different colours. So we'll have uh, red, green and blue. Okay, and what we can do is we can actually go and add those directly into these values. Yep, so now we can actually make a choice of which one we want to go and use. So let's now start to assign these to the, the, the product itself. So we're going to get a hole in here. So we'll put a sketch on this face. Now we'll just use a normal uh, point center in here. Now I'm not going to put all the parameters in, but uh, what I want to do is finish that create a simple hole from there so we'll put a hole in like so and then what I'm going to do is pattern that so we'll go through and create a, a rectangular pattern on that hole okay so what's going to happen here is typically I'm going to say that the spacing is going to be equal to whole space yeah so we'll uh, grab that parameter whole space and we'll have uh, six in there Okay, so we're now ready to actually start to uh, create some iLogic. So we're going to add a rule. I'll leave that at rule zero. And what we have here are basic links to Inventor um, tools. So for example, I can affect the properties, parameters, 
Yeah, any parameters that I want to reference, of course I can do. Here the parameters directly from my sketch, and so on. So what I'm going to do is actually make a rule um, based on uh, the paint colour, for example. So I could also, rather than type in uh, rules here, I can actually uh, double click them from the list here. So if I wanted to, for example, reference um, a part colour, for example, I could go under eye properties here. Um, double click on part colour and you can see it automatically then writes a rule for us. So this is very similar to um, Visual Basic and you can obviously link this into Visual Basic if you need to. So I'm just going to put a simple rule in here. I will say here uh, if paint yeah, is equal to none, so I if it has no paint colour like this then yep, the eye properties is equal to as material. Okay, Now if that doesn't meet the case, then we can say else. Yeah, eye properties. Dot part color. Now again, I could have double clicked on the parameter there to add that in. Equals paint. Okay, and then we'll have to end this with end if. So we'll have some other properties in here as well. Now, what I actually have in the list here is some snippets, and snippets are basically um, areas of favorite code. So I'm going to add a color snippet in here. Okay, so what this is going to do is actually control the number of holes. Well, I'm going to change this in here, and I'm going to say if, if it's green, what I want to do is affect the hole space. Okay, so we'll say here hole space equals uh, 12. Now, we'll also end that by saying end if, and we'll do another one in here. So I'll copy that, paste it through, and I'll say now if it equals red. Then what we'll do is we'll double the whole space to 24. Now, what we might want to do also is actually have a warning that if the whole spacing gets too big, then we, we want it to come up with some sort of a, an error or information. So we can say here then, if whole space is greater than 25, then now we want to put a message box in. So again, we can go back to our system in here. Okay, we can go and find a, a message box. Yeah, so we'll just put a, a, a basic message box in. Um, let's just say message box show. Okay, then we can put our message in. So in here I'll say whole space exceeds 25. Yeah, and I'll call the title of this message box holes. So let's see what happens if we uh, go ahead and accept that. So we can now see the uh, the trigger. So I'm going to go into parameters. Now, again, I could link this to a uh, Visual Basic dialog box if I wanted to. Uh, but I'm just going to use inventors triggers here. Yeah. And you can now see those items updating and changing. Notice, obviously, when I change from blue uh, to green and to red, you can see those whole spaces update. Now, there's a whole space. So if I actually go to 26, In fact, what it's doing is it's not automatically letting me do that. Yeah, there we go. So you can see there, the whole space exceeds 25. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually write another bit of code that would put the whole space back to 25. So there's a basic overview of iLogic for you in Inventor 2011.